In this video, we are making an ecosphere in a jar. The basic idea of a jar ecosphere is that the environment within the jar can sustain itself. Let's see how we built this ecosphere. I went to a local park and picked a small ditch of water. For this self-sustaining ecosphere, we are using a 5 liter preserving jar. First, we need to collect some substrate. It is the basis of an ecosystem. This contains all sorts of microorganisms, plant matter and mold. The ecosphere I'm building now is the third one I've ever made. They require no maintenance as they are self-sustaining. Just place them close to a window so the organisms inside can benefit from daylight. You'll have a self-sustaining ecosystem within your home that will live until the end of times. We will now fill up the jar with water. Fill it up to about 3 quarters of the jar, you need some air inside there. It's part of a miniature version of the nitrogen cycle. The final step is sealing the jar. It has been 24 hours since we've sealed the jar. Most of the detritus has settled. The water is still a bit murky. This is similar to a blackwater aquarium, where leaves, twigs and other plant matter spread tenons throughout the aquarium, giving it this brownish color. At first, I thought a snail had laid eggs already, but upon closer inspection through my macro lens, I found out this is some type of, I think, planaria worm. I am no expert and there are a ton of different organisms in this jar. So if you know what any of these are, let us know in the comments. There's over 1200 quintillion liters of water on Earth. We only jarred 5 liters. Can you imagine how much aquatic life there is on Earth? Follow along on this ecosphere journey by clicking the subscribe button to my channel and help support by clicking the thumbs up button and leaving a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.